KTLA Los Angeles. From Hollywood, the dating capital of the world, it's the Dating Game. Here's the star of the show and your host, Jim Lang. Thank you. Oh, you're beautiful. Thank you very much. And thank you. And welcome once again to the Dating Game. It's time to meet our first three eligible bachelors for today. And here they are. Welcome, guys. Well, I'll tell you, bachelor number one lives in and lives by the simple philosophy, love thy neighbor. And if you drive through his neighborhood, day or night, you'll find him jumping over hedges in his fruit of the looms. He's a loan officer for a bank. He's an avid Monopoly player, a skydiver. Say hi to Dave Ulmer. Dave, welcome to the show. That's the number one. And you might say that bachelor number two is here to forget. He truly loved his last girlfriend so much that he actually fell down on his knees and worshipped the very ground on which her father struck oil. He's a computer science student. He enjoys all sports. Welcome to our show, Benji Bruno. Benji, good luck to you. And you got to give bachelor number three credit. Just last year, he decided it was time to expand his mind. So he shoved a cherry bomb in each ear and he did a headstand on the stove. <laughs> he hails from Plainfield, New Jersey. Enjoys everything from astronomy to exploring old caves. Here's Dan Barry. And there he is, and there they are. And those are the three bachelors, and we'll be right back to meet our young lady for game number one. Right after these words. Don't go away. Time to meet our young lady for game number one. And here she is. This young lady is currently pursuing a career as a model because recently, as a legal secretary, her boss called her in and said, hey, I figured out a way to make the office less crowded. You're fired. <laughs> She's into art. And Bill and Fred and Sam and Larry, please welcome the very sensitive and sensual Susanna Davis. Hello, Susanna. How are you? A freckle or two? I noticed. You look very nice. That's beautiful, beautiful outfit. The bachelors over there, of course, cannot see you. You cannot see them. The whole basis of the show is you making a decision based on their answers. Okay, you have your questions ready? I sure do. All right, we're going to have them say hello first and see how they sound there. Number one, would you give a nice hi to Susanna? Hey, Suzanne. Okay. <laughs> how about number two? Hi, Susanna. I'm your mad Italian that's going to dash and run off with you. And if you don't pick me, I'm going to get someone out of the audience. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and number three. Hi, Susanna. I'm a wild and crazy guy. All right. I guarantee you, none of them is Steve Martin. But other than that, uh, you've got some wild and crazy guys. You ready to go? Okay, yeah. have a seat. Then make yourself comfortable. Good luck, bachelors. That's your number two. I stopped wearing bras some time ago. What else can I use them for? That's your number three. I'd use them in my refrigerator, probably to hold grapefruit. <laughs> Possibly watermelon, but I'll have to meet you first. I think it's grapefruit. Okay. All right. Bachelor number. Okay, enough of that. Now you must decide. Just stay right there while I can think about it. While well, Susanna is trying to weed out the wheat from the chaff and decide which bachelor gets the date with her, we'll take a little time on for these words. Don't go. Susanna, they did their best over there to intrigue you with romance and uh, whatever they could think of, really. And now we would like to know which one impressed you the most. Who gets the date? Will it be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Who is that lucky fella? Well, I think bachelor number one. Number one got it. All right. Bachelor number one said the right thing. What was it that he said that impressed you so much? What made you choose him? I think it was just the less of three evils. <laughs> <laughs> did you say, did you say number one was the lesser of three evils? Did I hear you right? No. All right. Well, he did a good job. They all did. But let's see what you did. Okay, bachelor number two is into sports. He's a computer science student, and he's a fine-looking gentleman, Mr. Benji Bruno. Benji, come on and say hello. This is him. 
Well, you didn't choose him. You didn't choose number three either. And he's an astronomy student, explores old caves, loves things like that. From Plainfield, New Jersey, Dan Barry. Dan, if you would, please come and say hello. You kissed her, you don't even know her. How about that, huh? Oh, you're a fast mover. Thank you so much. Now, would you move off the stage? All right, you did a good job. We have some gifts for you guys. You did great. There they go. They were not chosen. You selected one, and I'd like to tell you something about him. Zana, he is a skydiver, which is, uh, shows his daring. He's a banker, which shows his conservativeness. He also loves to play Monopoly as a hobby. His name is Dave Ulmer. Dave, say hello to Susanna, if you would. Well, you can stand anywhere. Just get together there somehow. Well, for your date, Susanna, you're going to the fun-filled Southern California playground of Lion Country Safari. You'll share a unique adventure among some of the most ferocious ho-hum animals in the world. You'll be traveling in the privacy of your own chauffeur car at your own pace along four miles of safari trails. Experience eye-to-eye -eye and nose-to-nose confrontations with the untamed animals in their natural setting. Lion Country Safari in Irvine, Irvine California, then is off to a different kind of excitement at the Irvine Prime Restaurant, where you'll join all the fun and cheer of Newport Beach, California's newest and most exhilarating supper club. Music, dancing, lilting entertainment, and the most famous and elegant cuisine in Orange County. And finally, you might want to chase the setting sun to a private place to be alone in your chauffeur-driven car. Thank you both very much. David, thank you. Thank you, Susanna. We'll see you guys later, okay? You get acquainted? Well, before we begin our next game, let's find out what our runners-up will receive. And once again, here's Johnny. Jim, our runners-up in game one will receive Hamilton Beach's revolutionary new 2001 Space Age electronic computer blender. Touch controls for 16-speed selection timer digital readouts from Hamilton Beach, Scoville.